The Next War by Wilfred Owen 1893-1918 Out there we've walked quite friendly up to death Sat down and eaten with him cool and bland Pardoned his spilling mestins in our hand We've sniffed the green thick odour of his breath Our eyes wept but our courage didn't writhe He spat at us with bullets and he's coughed shrapnel We chorused when he sang aloft We whistled while he shaved us with his sigh Oh, death n was never enemy of ours. We laughed at him, we leagued with him, old chum. No soldiers paid to kick against his powers. We laughed, knowing that better men would come and greater wars. When each proud fighter brags, he wars on death for lives, not men for flags. Okay, this is um, a poem by Wilfred Owen. Let's see, Wilfred Owen was a war poet from the First World War. He was strongly influenced by um, Siegfried, Siegfried Sassoon. Um, let's see, he came from uh, Shropshire um, and uh, he's writing about the horrors of the First World War and uh, he, he's telling people what it's really like. So, the next war. Let's see, what's this poem about? Okay, this, I think this, this poem is talking about death and the uh, motivation why uh, people go to war. So, out there we walked quite friendly up to death, sat down and eaten with him cool and bland. So, as soldiers, we, we know death extremely well. Yeah, he's uh, some, somebody that's always around. We sit down and eat with him. Yeah, we don't have any problem because death for these soldiers was always around them. This was something that could happen at any moment. Pardoned him his spilling mess tins in our hand. So um, I think this spilling of mess tins, this is when uh, a shell comes down and there's a huge explosion and maybe somebody else is killed but um, the shock of this ex explosion um, uh, means that they uh, spill their food which is in the tins that they are eating. So yeah it was somebody else's death but death has come to uh, uh, and this is one of the side effects of death. We've sniffed the green thick odour of his breath. Now this is referring to chlorine gas. Yeah, and this was another way of killing people. And we've smelled the thick, the smell of uh, death, the smell of chlorine. Our eyes wept, but our courage didn't writhe. So one of the symptoms of chlorine gas is your eyes water. Yeah, so um, we're crying about the death, we're crying about the gas. Uh, but our courage didn't writhe, so to writhe is to move backwards and forwards in pain. So, we, so we've seen death everywhere, but our courage mm, didn't falter, our courage was strong always. He spat at us with bullets and he coughed shrapnel. So, death has, is spitting bullets at them. He's coughing shrapnel at them. Shrapnel are little bits of metal from an explosion. We chorused when he sang aloft. We whistled while he shaved us with his sigh. So, I think this singing aloft, this is the sound of the shell going through the air, the shell whistling. Yeah, and um, this is the, the, the chorus, the singing, 
um, as, as death is coming. And they whistled while he shaved us with his scythe. Well, the Grim Reaper, Death, has a scythe to cut down uh, people. A scythe is what they used to use to cut the, the, the wheat, to cut the crops. And uh, Death always ha the image of Death has this scythe. And um, the, the, here, this is, it, it's echoing the idea of the shells being, um, being fired at them and uh, them not dying, but the, the, the scythe of death going close to them. So here he, he's saying that uh, as soldiers, they know death very, very well. Death is their friend. Death is the, um, the, 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 their constant companion in the battlefield. Oh, death was never enemy of ours. We laughed at him. We leagued with him, old chum. So death was never fighting us. Yeah. So the, the question here now is, who is their enemy then? We laughed at him. We leagued with him, old chum. So they laughed at death. They, um, they are companions of death. No soldiers paid to kick, kick against his Notice the capital H. He's talking about death's powers. So no soldier, the soldiers aren't trying to uh, reduce the power of death because there's nothing a soldier can do against death. We laughed, knowing that better men would come and greater wars. So they laughed, and this is this next bit is the important bit. When each proud fighter brags, he wars on death for lives, not men for flags. So here they are laughing because they know there are going to be other wars. And fighters go to the war. Their, their motivation of going to war, they say, is because they're going to fight death. They're going to stop killing. They're going to stop the, the killing of death. Yeah, they're going to save people's lives. Um... And they're not fighting for a flag or for a country. They're fighting, they're fighting death. And they're laughing because they know that you can't fight death in a war. And this is saying that really the enemy is, are the flags. Yeah, the patriotism that each fighter is... Um, it, and it is there so they use patriotism to get people to um go to wars and then um uh, the, the, and the, the and the soldiers say that they are there to fight death to stop death coming but it's not true it's just a trick so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Next War by Wilfred Owen